What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video here on MQAN Reviews and you probably guessed it. We're going to be taking a look at another watch. Now this is going to be a short video. I kind of wish I had longer with this watch uh, but it's the first time that I'm reviewing a Bremont watch on my channel. Bremont is a British based company that are doing some really pioneering work in terms of uh, watchmaking out of the United Kingdom and as part of their new range this is one of the particular watches the S301 or the Supermarine 301 and it's a professional dive watch in a slightly smaller uh, size it's a 40 millimeter hardened steel case but it's vintage-esque and you can see that uh, with everything from the dial the strap this particular version comes with a leather strap and I absolutely love it. I regret not having this for longer because this watch is very different from a lot of the other dive watches uh, that you will see. It had a great feel on the wrist and interestingly enough for a dive watch um, it didn't feel very large or heavy. You've got this um, ceramic bezel, unidirectional uh, bezel, and then you've got these rounded lugs. And the rounded lugs look different. I think they really suit the overall aesthetics to this particular styling that Bremen have gone for with this watch. Now it's slim, and it's slim at around 13 millimeters. And then internally, it's powered by a modified caliber 11 and a half inch that's fitted with a Bremont decorated rotor and 21 joules. It's also COSC certified, also has 38 hours of power reserve which is great for a dive watch such as this. And um, you know I love everything about this. I think the dimensions are great. I also love the way that um, that vintage style loom that you find on the dial, the red writing on the dial, everything adds up to give it a sense of depth and richness. Um, and it's also 300 uh, meter water resistant, so it means that it's really manufactured and Bremont have a long tradition of producing sort of tool watches that are used in a range of, of different industries. The only thing that I wish I had was more time with this watch so that I could have given you a much more in-depth feel with that time that I had. But you know, overall an interesting watch, a great watch from Bremont's range. And uh, I'd love to know what you think about this watch. What do you think about the styling, the design? Leave a comment down below. And if any of you guys are Bremont watch owners, be interesting to see what watches you have in your collection. That's it from me for now. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, I'm Mkwan. Peace and blessings.